In 1935, a German pilot named Ernst Udet, was conducting a search for two climbers trapped in the snowstorm of Mount Eiger. Ernst, boldly went closer to the snow mountain to a distance of 20 meters. After conducting an aerial search, two Munich climbers named Max Meringer and Karl Zettmeier were found dead in a bivouac shelter, they had built. To this day, the place is named after Depp Bivouac. At least 64 climbers have died here, so much so that the north of the Eiger Mountain is dubbed the murderous wall, Mordwand. In 1936, two Nazi climbers named Tony Kurz and Andreas Hinterstasser wanted to climb Mount Eiger, both of them were so obsessed with climbing the northern part of the Eiger Mountain, that they called it the Nordfront because at that time, no climbers had managed to reach the Nordfront. They wanted to be known as the first Germans to successfully conquer the Nordfront. Also having the same mission at the time were two Austrians named Willy Angerer and Edi Reiner. At first, they competed with these two Austrians. However, due to the many obstacles they faced, they finally decided to do the climb together. Andreas and Tony move early until they manage to lead the trip by a long distance leaving Willy and Reiner. Problems began to arise when the four of them had already arrived in the middle of the mountain, bad air as well as very minimal equipment, caused a heartbreaking tragedy to begin to occur. These four climbers, especially Willy, have experienced hypothermia. Willy was also hit by small rocks after the cliff collapsed due to the footsteps of Andreas' shoes that were on top of him. The wound eventually made Willy even weaker. Tony and Andreas' journey was eventually stalled because their Austrian friend was suffering. Tony wants to bring Willy down, but Andreas still wants to continue the journey to the top. Eventually they agreed, and threw away their egos to save Willy's life by taking him down even though their journey had already reached an altitude of 2,000 meters, from the total altitude to the summit was, 3,978 above sea level. On the way to bring Willy down, there was a tragedy where a snowball from a crevice of the hill fell which eventually hit Andreas, and then hit Reiner. Andreas, who was in a hanging position, found that his two friends from Austria were dead. Willy died in extreme cold while Reiner suffered severe head injuries. Andreas, finally fell down with the two Austrians after cutting the connecting rope with a knife between himself and Tony, after feeling that he was no longer strong enough to go up, to where Tony was standing as strong as he could, while holding the connecting rope that bound his three friends. Before cutting the rope, Andreas instructed Tony, it's okay, so you can go home safely. Andreas sacrificed his life, so that Tony could live. Tony who saw Andreas' actions screamed because she was so sad. Finally, Tony was left alone hanging through the snowstorm on the mountain, he is no longer able to move. Later that day, amid the worsening weather, a rescue team arrived to retrieve Tony from below. They climbed through a railway tunnel and ran through the mountain, the Jungfraubahn. They were unable to reach Tony because of a strong storm, and had to leave her unattended and exposed to the cold all night. The next day, the team once again tries to help Tony. Tony herself tried to save herself even though her hands were frozen due to the loss of the gloves. He tried to close himself to the mountain wall, and went to the rescue team. The problem is further complicated when the rescue team carries a less long rope causing Tony who is in a weak condition cannot be rescued. In a state of already knotted rope, Tony tried to move again but the effort was just in vain. In a sad tone he said. I can't go anymore. Tony finally died hanging with her body frozen, while being watched by the rescue team from afar. Tony died on July 22, 1936 at the young age of 23, and was buried in Berchtesgaden, Germany. The story of this fourth climber was adapted in the form of a film titled North Face, and premiered 12 years ago.